I do like the X-Men. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Table. And today on The Table, man, we will not be doing like a table layout, but we will be doing a Sentinel unboxing. I finally will be opening up my HasLab Sentinel after waiting about three years to do that uh, because I was just waiting on the perfect time. And what better time than now when I have most of my Sentinel army here. I'm missing about three of these, um, what's this girl here, Omega Sentinel? Is that her? Yeah, Omega Sentinel. I'm missing about three of those. They're on my Big Bad Toy Store uh, pile of loot. Uh, but I have mostly what I need here. The Marvel three and three quarter retro Sentinels. I had five of these for about two years and then I brought five more four months ago for about one fourth of the price that I paid for the five original that I had. So it was about $5 a piece at Ross back in December, man. But we got enough meat and potatoes here to go ahead and start putting together this Sentinel Army. Because before I do anything on this table, I need to get my personnel together and see who I'm going to use. Of course, I'm using the Sentinel, so why not go ahead and box all of them and then see what X-Men I'm going to use. And just kind of just brainstorm and see what we got going on. But this is the first step of the process. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and get these Sentinels unboxed, man so we can see what we got. I had one uh, since day one, and I always thought this was a pretty good figure, and this is the one right here. You see the arms are already switched off uh, on her. Got the ball head. Uh, this figure came with two head scopes, which look pretty cool. I know nothing about this character. I know it was good and it went evil, but in my playability, uh, these will be used as evil Sentinels. Maybe X-Men will obtain one and it'll be on their side, but for the most part, they're gonna be evil. And you can see all the alternate arm parts there. But like I said, I got three more at Big Bad Toy Store. I got a serious X-Men pile of loot. Like, it's no coink, uh, coinky dink, but you know, most of the figures on there are all X-Men from Angel to the Wolverine two packs and stuff like that. So I'm gonna release that soon. But like I said, they look good. I always like this. They had a pretty cool face sculpts. I really like these red face sculpts. I like the aesthetic of this figure. The white and black hard contrast with the pops of red. And then you it has the playability to switch out to like the laser cannon type guns, you know, that a sentinel will transform his arm to and things of that nature. But This Sentinel is uh, really kind of like primitive as far as playability. Um, it's only got a five POA, five points articulation, turn the neck, both arms, no uh, double jointed elbows, no single, no single jointed legs. Basically what I'm using this Sentinel for is just pretty much a uh, presence, prop piece. If you've seen 20 of these lined up and then you got the bigger Sentinel, then you got smaller Sentinels running around like this, that makes a scene and the aesthetic on them looks good this just reminds me of just a classic sentinel this reminds me of an arcade five player x-men sentinel this uh, sentinel really reminds me of the uh, original animated series uh, the x-men 92 uh, the, i think these sentinel those sentinels were kind of modeled kind of after this like you know kind of traditional uh non-advanced sentinel man but uh still a good toy for what it's worth five dollars yeah de definitely worth it yeah baby that raw special five ninety nine. also these figures come with uh also great fodder too like the extra heads battle damage heads those little cone blasts you know just little stuff like that so definitely worth it I've never felt power like this before. 
all right so we got the four omega sentinels here and you see i kind of evened them up uh, i got two with the hair head scopes i got two with the red ball heads two with their arms fully converted to like the laser type cannons and i just left two kind of like regular with the regular robotic arms in the back we got the 10 uh three and three quarter retro carded sentinels looking good there um and it looks good so far um, like I said, those retro sentinels are very limited on articulation, but one thing they will do and one thing I want them to do is stand because that's just what they're made to do. Just stand almost kind of in a statue uh, type pose. You also, um, let me see if I can show you guys right quick, can make um, their eyes light up red. They have like a, a clear, almost... Uh, a clear piece in the back of the head that's real receptive uh, to light and it makes their eyes light up you see this back piece here that's the uh, place that you know the light can be receptive through and it'll make their eyes uh, glow red so that's kind of all like this one big clear piece inside their head I don't know why I can't get it to do that but uh, that's what they do So we got the Sentinel out and shall I say, I am really impressed with this thing here. When I pulled out the box, it felt like my two year old, three year old, that's how much weight it had on it. Pulling it out, um, it seems though like I do uh, have a problem uh, with a little bit of looseness there, I'm not too sure. But I remember there was a problem with the looseness in the right knee, I believe. But nothing crazy, but I do feel a little bit there. But as you can see, he's leaned over. He's leaning towards the camera. Like, if he didn't have a good knee or good balance, he would have been felt over, uh, fell over by now. But he looks great, man, with that support and cast of those uh, Sentinel Retros and the uh, Marvel Legend Omega Sentinels. And might I say Bastion, too. Um, which is crazy coinky dink like Bastion if you're watching X-Men 97 is big in the show but uh, around this time this Sentinel came out I didn't know who the hell he was I've never seen him before and did not know who he was until about a month or two ago until that show uh, debuted but his figure uh, looks good I, it's a slimmer Marvel Legends uh, buck and I don't know if it's the same buck as that uh giant man that i unboxed on my channel the other day but he feels better uh than that giant man like uh this feels quality he wasn't loose or anything like that he doesn't have any extra hands at least i don't believe i mean when i took out the package but he feels like a quality buck he looks a little bit more bigger than what i thought he would be being a slimmer marvel legends man and the girl is good too and then he also comes with an extra uh head sculpt which this head scope right here is I'm not the boss I'm just here every day running the mill when it's time to fall in line fall in line you don't know who the boss is this is we move as one unit and I'm gonna pop it on right quick and I kind of like uh, this extra uh, sentinel head scope 
like I said, when I want something like not bastion and just kind of move it as a sentinel man, like we move as one unit, I'm, I'm not the boss type ordeal. I like that. I think that's uh, pretty cool. But I'm going to keep the bastion head on for the time being. But definitely a good HasLab. Um, it's been, I've never held my own in my hand or at all anybody's. And uh, feels good, man. Feels good. Great. Gr I'm glad I brought it. Glad I brought it. Uh, perfect proportions um i always thought the heads look kind of small on it but uh having it out box it and up close and in real life man this, this thing is the joint man this thing is this thing it, it is the real deal so that's what's up we're gonna take the camera off and uh just kind of go through the army peep the scene real quick man and kind of wrap this up all right, so what we're gonna do now is just kind of peek the scene uh because that's what the table's about showing you what i'm using and this is just me getting ready to uh go into what i'm gonna do with the x-men so of course we got the haslab sentinel there looking real good i mean this is one dope dope like figure man and then we got all the supporting cast we got the three and three quarter sentinels here just just for stage uh presence and these guys will always kind of be in the cut they'll never be like main action or anything like that they'll just be you know just for presence basically and then we got the four sentinels here that'll be part of that main action then we got my man bastion then we got the girl sentinel that came in the pack also got some table fodder here this is old old marvel legends right here this is this is back in the day uh, toy biz marvel legends which they don't make them like that no more when they give you a prop piece a sentinel a uh, prop piece that came with a toy i mean today they're probably trying to charge you ten dollars just for this and this used to come in a seven or eight dollar uh figure with a toy and it was just an extra diorama piece we got all the diorama fodder from the sentinels that i opened up and let's pop this light right here just to shine a little light on these heads the three different sentinel heads the um master mold the damage head the damage head is like way smaller than these other ones then we got the uh tri sentinel head here i also have other sentinels that i'm gonna use i have the original toy biz i have the uh other marvel legends ones here i actually have the new tri sentinel that you build also so we got we got more players coming to the table all right so being that we got uh the players for now far as sentinel wise uh under wraps let's go to what i'm gonna be using uh high school creations diorama prop i, I really never liked that he sent me that because i never I, I guess i guess maybe i didn't read some fine print but uh i was supposed to get like another building but this hollywood video building came so you know oh well but once again all of this is high school creations right here that i brought a long time ago so we got the alleyway pieces and we'll step behind them so you can kind of see the definition of what i'm talking about here so that's one piece there we got another piece here got the um loving family uh one of those pieces in the dollhouses that i told you I, I spray painted up got uh some more prop pieces back here i picked up these uh lights i believe, I believe they're called newer cube lights from amazon they got 20 different uh light effects uh different colored lights with them and that's what's calling causing that uh police uh like light there and then we got my silver box there that was big on the last go around on the table and then we got uh the corner store here which high school creations uh he put that on me actually what i want i said lando's grocery from lando clarissa Al. and uh bodega pizza here he made that as you can see he tailored it to you know i'm i'm from 910 but he put the raleigh area code on it 919 but close enough and uh, you see we got the little box here and this little small light here is making all of this di uh, disruption man so these gonna be some major pieces uh, that I use um, when I'm starting to do this table and you see how I got that white light shining behind this building here you know what I'm saying it's illuminating like this it, it's not from this other light here it's, it's, it's this small look small light right here that's making that shine like that so got some nice stuff going here and uh i'm really really liking this this is gonna get the juices flowing finally broke out my sentinel let's give him a round of applause for that man but yeah we're gonna that's gonna wrap it up for uh today's episode of the table i just really wanted to get my sentinel 
finally unboxed and all my smaller sentinels now my juices can flow now i can see which way i want to go might do another episode of the table where we break out uh the x-men shelf and see who we're gonna use there uh got a few more props you know in the cut too but for the most part this that's gonna be the main meat and potatoes of my city diorama dealing with these sentinels here but this is the savage land. We do this for the love and beauty of action figures and building out dioramas and the love of X-Men. If you can, give me a like, comment, subscribe, tap in with me. Uh, check out my other episodes of The Table where I was going through with G.I. Joe. Now we finna go through it with the X-Men and the Sentinel uh, saga and whatever other villains we can dig up. Because I have probably just as much X-Men as I have G.I. Joe. But with that being said, until the next time. God bless. And also, if you're very interested in episodes of the table, um, hit the uh, hit the bell notification so you know anytime that I put up an episode, man. Peace.